<laughs> oh man. What's up guys, Christian here with River Pools and if you're in the market to have a pool installed in your backyard, you're considering fiberglass, vinyl liner, concrete pools, uh, and you're just kind of wondering, you keep hearing these two terms, shotcrete and gunite, in reference to concrete pools, and you want to know what the heck is the difference? Well, that's what we're going to explain on this episode of Two Minutes in the Pool. All right, welcome back to the show. It's not on TV. All right, here we go. We're going to talk about the difference between gunite and shotcrete so that you understand the differences if you're considering a concrete pool versus vinyl liner or fiberglass to have installed in your backyard. Uh, if this video was helpful, if it gave you a good explanation and helped you decide which way to go, perhaps, uh, for the pool in your backyard, then like this video by giving it a thumbs up, subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Facebook and Instagram for more educational pool content from us here at River Pools. Okay, so gunite versus shotcrete, that's what we're gonna explain today, give you little differences between the two materials so that you can understand uh, the terminology when you're shopping for a pool for your backyard and considering concrete versus fiberglass versus vinyl liner. Uh, here's the deal, I set a two minute timer. In the last episode, I beat the timer. I'm feeling pretty good, I think I can hit it again. Let's see how we do it. Two minute timer and try to get to you the answer before the jingle sounds off. Let's go. Two minutes and rolling. Okay, gunite versus shotcrete. So it really comes down to when the material is mixed, when the dry, ma dry material and the water is mixed. At what point do those two materials come together? That's the difference between gunite and shotcrete. Um, so in gunite, all of the dry materials are pre-mixed and placed into a hopper. Compressed air is used to send that down the line towards the operator, at which point the water is introduced and the force of it all hits the wall or the, allows the material mixed to hit the wall and that rate of speed creates compression and the material sticks in place either on the wall or the, or the floor of your concrete pool. So that's gunite. Dry materials and water are introduced at the last second before it's applied to build the structure of the pool. Uh, in terms of shotcrete, it's all mixed ahead of time. And so what's put into the hopper, not just the dry ingredients, not just the dry materials, but the water as well. And it looks, it's more like concrete at that point, right? Like, like we've all seen before. So the wet and dry materials are placed together, pre-mixed into the hopper, and then through compression of a pump at a high rate of velocity, sent down the line to the operator. And then again, the force of it coming out of the gun at the end or the tube hits the wall of the pool or the floor and that compression at the last second is what makes the material stick. So why one over the other? Well it really comes down to the preference and skill set of the operator or the pool builder. Some bu pool builders prefer, some concrete pool builders prefer to use gunite, some prefer to use shotcrete and so it really comes down to just their preference and skill level with either, uh, either process. Both produce um, good concrete pools suitable for any backyard installation. Of course we're biased towards fiberglass, that's what we do, but we understand if concrete is your decision, now you understand the difference, now you understand the terminology. The two minutes is up, we hit the mark today. We'll see you in the next episode of Two Minutes in the Pool. Catch the wave.